Today we're going to talk about RSS feed readers. A feed reader is a program that goes out to different websites and see if there's any new updates on that website. I'm, look, I'm subscri subscribed to 93 websites. If I didn't use a feed reader, I'd have to go to each individual website and see what's new. And that's a lot of websites to go to. Where the feed reader, I would just go to the open up. And I'm going to use RSS Owl. It's available for Windows, Macs, and Linux. And I'm going to press update all. And what that does, it goes out and sees if there's any new postings on these websites. So I'm going to show you how to use RSS Owl since it's available for Win Windows, Macs, and Linux. But if you're using Linux, I would recommend using Lyferia. And that one's not available for Windows and Mac. Both of these programs are open source and free to use. Let's go to rssowl.org and download the program. So here are the 93 websites that I keep track of every day. To use RSS Owl or RSS Reader, you need to subscribe to the website. So we're going to go to a website, let's say the Artbeat website. If it says RSS, you can click on that. And this is what an RSS feed page looks like. You want to copy the URL and paste it into, oh, you want to put new. Go to RSSL, new. Should come up, but if not, paste it in there and finish. And it will go out and give me the most recent postings on Artbeat. Once I go through the titles, the, the list to see what I want to read, when I'm done, I can say mark all is read, and that clears up the board again. Let's go to another website here, Art in the Park. Here's a whole bunch of RSS feeds. Now, some web pages don't have an RSS feed link. If you go to Find, Control F, Find in Page, go RSS. And if nothing shows up, that doesn't mean there's not an RSS feed associated with that page. What you have to do is put in an add-on if you're using Firefox, Chrome, or such. I use RSS icon is awesome bar. And what this does is it puts an icon in the URL bar. So every time you see that, in the bar, you know that there's a, a feed associated with this website. I click on it, subscribe to Fremont Universe RSS feed, and that gives me the, the feed page. I copy the URL, go to the RSS owl, press new, and finish. And that loads it up. And there's two. The most recent posting was on the 15th of this month. And they're talking about outdoor movie lineup. And I can press the title there, and it will open it up in the web page so I can read it.
But once you have all your feeds that you want to keep track of, it's all it's really good to do a backup, and you do that by exporting the file. And you can also import the file. And I'm going to import my list that I have. You can see on the bottom, I have them in folders. Some other sites that have great RSS feed links to, the City of Seattle has uh, elected official RSS links, and this is the logo right there. And the different departments and agencies within the City of Seattle that you can log into. On Seattle Communities Online Inventory, it shows, it has a list of all the community blogs, websites for all of Seattle. If I go to neighborhood and click, click on that so that way it puts it in order here, I can get all of Alki, Ballard, websites that have to do with community in that neighborhood. And that's how I got most of my feeds I'll have these links in on the show notes. So you can go out and find those pages. So you'll have to explore this, this web page, uh, RSS Owl, a little bit more. It's pretty simple. And I think I've covered everything. It's a simple way to get news that you can't find on the radio or on the television or in the newspaper because there's a lot that gets filtered through. And if you want to know what's going on in your community, I would recommend that you use an RSS feed reader. <laughs>